Hey guys, welcome back to the Liam Loves Lego channel, and in this video, we're going to be talking about my thoughts on the new Speed Champion sets that were revealed for 2023. Now, obviously, Speed Champions is a theme that I really like, um, and I think I've reviewed most of my Speed Champion sets on this channel. I pretty much own all the Speed Champion sets from the last two waves. Uh, I don't own that yellow car, which I'll put on screen, and I don't own the purple dragsters, but I own most of the other sets. So first up, we have the 76915 Pagani Utopia. Playing Roblox Driving Empire and other games like that, um, I'm really coming to know the Paganis, and I'm very happy that LEGO is making a Pagani because there hasn't been, to my knowledge, a LEGO Pagani before. And more so than that, they actually seem to have done a pretty good job. It actually looks like a Pagani. Now, it's called the Pagani Utopia, and obviously LEGO isn't like Roblox. They don't have to name something else. Like, they use the real name. Um, basically, in these Roblox games, they have fake names because they don't have the licenses. So I'm looking up a real picture of the Pagani Utopia, which I'll put on screen, and I think it actually looks pretty similar. And this is actually in Roblox, which is hilarious, or in Driving Empire, I should say. So the next car is the uh, Porsche 963. Um, I don't know anything about this. It's a Porsche race car. Uh, I think it's the first Porsche race car that LEGO did because we're talking like actual race car looking race car. So I'm looking up images of this car at the moment, and it's bringing up like normal cars, so I guess I have to click on images. So I'm pulling up the images on screen right now. It actually looks pretty close to it. Now, honestly, to me, this one is not incredible. Um, I like it, but I mean, I'll probably get it, but it actually looks kind of basic. I do kind of like the back of it. And what I mean by this is not the rear, but like the back past the cockpit. It actually looks pretty interesting. But it's kind of bland because it's just a race car, but it doesn't look like these other race cars, which I'll put on screen. Um, so it is pretty different. So uh, anyway, next up, we have the 76918 McLaren Solus and McLaren F1. Now, the McLaren Solus, I'll put it on screen. This is a car and driving empire that I use all the time. So I'm really happy that they're making a Lego one. I do think the color scheme is a little bit sussy because um, basically, since there's so much white and black, it kind of takes away from the shape of the car. But I'm assuming there is a real-life version that looks like this. Um, and then there's also the McLaren F1. So the F1's pretty cool. I'm never someone that really cared about the F1. I just didn't really spend a lot of time looking at pictures of it, if you guys know what I mean. I like it. It's really cool. But I just it's not a car I've ever idolized. So I'm not like looking at it like, oh my god, I know what that is. Um, so anyways, apparently this is all the sets. There also was the Nissan Skyline, which I already got. And I haven't done a review on it yet. Oh, I did do a review on it, actually. Um, but the, I have that set already. So let's talk about the prices of these things. So, uh, there's actually one set I missed, which I'll get into in a minute, but the, uh, Pagani, I think they say the price is at the bottom. I'm looking at the brick set. So the single cars are all going to cost $24.99 and the McLaren combo set is going to be $44. So $44 is actually a pretty good price. It's in line with our, our previous prices for double packs. Some of the double packs in previous years, like the Purple Dragsters, have actually been $50, which is just absurd to me. I know there isn't a lot of a difference, but when you say $50 out loud, and then you look at it, like, it didn't look like it was worth $50 to me. The uh, $24.99 price tag for the other cars is the price we've had, so that's fine. Um, anyways, here's the one I forgot to show. It is the 76914 Ferrari 812 Competizion, and uh, I don't know anything about this car, so I have to look it up. I'll put the picture of the car on screen. Um, uh, there it is. So here it is. It's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm not someone that, um, like oogles over every single Ferrari. Like apparently some people know every single car in the world. That's cool. I don't know every single car in the world. Okay. But I actually really like this one. Um, I'm probably going to get it since I have the Ferrari, the other Ferraris, um, that they've made. So, um, I'm really liking this. Uh, it actually seems like there's less sets when you actually look at them, but when I think about it in my head, there seems to be more. But, a uh, really cool theme, and obviously I'm happy that LEGO is continuing it, and they have full licenses with all the brands now in full scale, so not the small scale. So anyways, I'm pretty happy with this. Obviously, the stickers will be fun to put on. See you guys later, and peace out.